Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. My name is Master Race 9886 here. Today we're going to be driving the Kenworth W900 long here. There's a particular reason why we chose this truck here. And as you can tell, we are doing a heavy cargo pack here. You're going to be taking a rather long trailer because it does have the two pivoting axles, one in the front and one in the rear here. The truck is the milling machine at about 97,000 pounds here. We are going to Oakland, uh, right outside of, I believe, Shabbles. Don't quote me. Yeah, um, oh my god, you can tell I'm not from California. Carabaz. Carabat, I think, something like that. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, be sure to tell me how to pronounce it here. Um, just hop up on the interstate, uh, or the I-5 here, and just ride the I-5 north up till we hit Oakland. Um, it's not a bad run here. We're going to be hopping inside of the truck here. Going to hop inside the truck here. We're going to get our track IR set up and ready to go here. Center ourselves here. There we go. And we are going to fire up the engine here. Listen to the sound of that beautiful engine there. I do have a new wheel coming in the mail so we can finally sit there. It does come with a sh actual shifter so I'm looking forward to getting that and using that for some videos but we will be for the time being continuing to use the uh, automatic transmission here so we're going to hop inside here we're going to do a quick tug test make sure everything is going good so we're going to release the brake hold down our trailer brake and we're going to give our tug test and we are connected so we're going to sit there we're going to make our way out here this thing is heavy you can just tell just by the way our truck here is even having a trouble trying to get it moving we're just gonna stop here real quick take a look right outside of our truck we may need to wrong one Yep, that would be the problem there. We do need to drop our uh, triaxle there. So we're just going to drop the triaxle, put that on the ground. We should be able to take it from there. Um, I did take a heavier piece of equipment with this truck, so we're going to continue here. And we should be ready to go. Oh, there we go. So much better. That is just so much better. Yep, you can definitely feel the difference there. And we are going to sit there and just put on our headlights. And as we make our way out here, we're going to activate our beacon lights here. Make sure we get this turn. There we go. And we should be ready to go here. Make our way out to here. Road seems good, so we're going to make our turn here. Careful keeping an eye on that bottom mirror there. As we make our way through it, we do get the green light, so we'll make our way, hopefully, make our way through here. It's like the light red right when we went in the middle of it, so we'll be fine there. But you can definitely tell the difference between those two things, and it looks like my track IR might be malfunctioning a little bit. I do have a window behind my setup here, so I try to block out as much of the light as I can. But, oh, thought we are going to the end of the road here, my bad. I can't block it all out, so I will be trying to get some kind of a, a screen that I'll be able to put behind my... behind me as I'm filming, so then I can sit there and not have the glare from the sun infect the camera there, but everything seems to be going good here. And I'm looking forward to actually getting the shifter and wheel coming because it'll actually be able to work because I could use the paddle shifters that come with my wheel here, but it just doesn't seem like it's something I would want to go with. I guess we'll make our way around there. We should be fine around that corner. We'll hold it shoulder there, beautiful. 
make our way onto the highway here and as I said we're just I believe this is I the I-5 already so we're just going to be riding this up until we hit Oakland pretty easy cargo shouldn't be too long to complete so let me know how you guys are doing here my day is doing good I hope you guys are having a wonderful week here towards the end of July I'm actually glad it was actually quite cool this week. Anytime I film, I always have to run the air conditioner. But this way, it's nice and cool, and we'll be able to keep my computer nice and cool. And it looks like they're having a little tiny rainstorm coming up here. We are going to need to slop over a lane so you got room. And we'll continue our way up here. Looks like we might need to get new wipers because right there, the top one wiper there doesn't want to pick it up. Yes, it does, maybe after a little bit. Yeah, but we'll just be riding the I 5 all the way up here. As I said, this is a beautiful truck to be driving here, and I'm probably going to wait until we get past Los Angeles. I'm going to see, maybe try getting a nice cinematic shot somewhere and then we'll do a time lapse. I did like how I did it last time with the time lapse that separated out between the a little portion of the trip so I think I might be doing that uh, in future videos here. I'll probably be starting that. I'll be so I'm over a lane here uh, doing a time lapse to break it up, make it interesting so we're going to do this. I'll get past Los Angeles here. I'll take a quick picture with it so I can have a thumbnail. And then I'll talk to you when we get back here. I think I might try to plant it right underneath this bridge here. Yeah, so actually you know, I want to get right beside this truck. That's exactly what I want to do. I want to get right beside this truck. So let's try getting behind it. Come on. A little more power. Come on, almost there. And that's exactly what I'm gonna want to see. I'm gonna be like, I want to have that red truck right next to it. Not exactly next to it, but like a decent amount next to it. So let's keep an eye out. Don't you dare shift the lanes on me. And nope, it's staying right there. All right, I'm going to do our make our thumbnail, and I will see you when we get back. Alright, welcome back here. Yeah, I just got my screenshot right outside of Los Angeles here. We do have approximately track hours malfunctioning, as I said about that glare. Well, we do have about 300 miles left on our journey to go. So we are going to sit there. I'm going to be opening up our time lapse here. And I sat there, and I will see you when we get to our next location. steep incline come here up here we were traveling at about 60 miles per hour and we are now traveling at decreasing speeds of about 20 miles per hour here coming up a steep incline hill here it's actually one of my favorite roads I don't believe this road is actually here back one American Truck Simulator first came out I think it came out later on but still seems to work and we are picking up speed again should be good here and it is a downhill grade slope so we are going to keep our eyes out for that and we do have the runaway truck lane just in case if we run into a situation we'll 
use our jig brake to help slow us down. And there we are, we made it down the hill safely here. So we are going to continue with our drive. And I'll see you when we get to our next location. This thing is an absolute beast. I said this is something that a pilot car would... This is something a pilot car would end up using to escort these trucks. That's just something. That is a beautiful sight to see. Something that big and yay we made it. Actually no that was my bad. That is not, we're not making money here. We just lost money. And um, we do have a small loan that we still have that we're paying on. I haven't really, I pay this uh, game. I don't sit there and like to do money cheats at all to increase the amount of money we have. So I don't sit there CHP. Beautiful. Uh, what, what was I saying? I don't sit there and use money cheats at all for it. I said I sit there. I work hard to build it up here, and I said, you know, you know, I put my, I actually put miles on the trucks back when it came out, and then usually I actually fall off of that. We'll play, you know, maybe a couple runs every, you know, week or so. You know, nothing too major. Just something you know, put a little, you know, extra cash in our pocket, but. It's just interesting because I was actually looking at my Euro Truck Simulator 2 and I sat there my one truck I had like I think it was like 90 some thousand kilometers put on it and I said you know I wasn't I was actually using that truck for a long time it was actually quite nice it was a day cab Kenworth I, be I believe it was a day cab T800 but don't question or quote me maybe like T860 or something or T880 I, I don't even remember but I sat there, it was a triaxle, it was the extended chassis length. And as I drove it, I just enjoyed it. And I just kept driving it, and I ended up putting like 90 some thousand kilometers on that one. But I wish they would sit there and maybe come out with a, uh, you know, an off road, I don't want to say like off road, but like an ice road trucker style of the, you know, roads here. I know they have, you know, mods there that give you somewhat like it but the one uh, mod that was up in Alaska the only thing I didn't like about it was it took forever to do something because they scaled it to exact like it literally to do one mile at 60 miles per hour it took you 60 seconds I said they, they scaled it out that way and I just didn't like it you know, to do a, you know, complete an actual, like, five-hour journey literally takes you five hours of gameplay. Like, I sat there, you know, you know, if I sit there, you know, if, you know, or if enough people want it, I might make it into a series. But it's just, it's not something you can do. Like, it, you know, it's a lot nicer when it's scaled this way. And the only thing I... No, I don't like, or I don't, I, my God, I must be drunk because I can't speak today. The one thing I don't, or I, no, I don't, I never did for Euro Truck Simulators. I never got any of the DLCs, like I think it was a Viva La France. Um, oh God, I can't even remember. I think it was a Viva La France Scandinavia DLC. Like I just had like the generic, you know, Britain. Poland, Germany. Never really got my way up into. Well, my DLC never gave. I never had the map going into Sweden and Norway. Which I may sit there and buy one day. Just, you know, go out and buy the Scandinavian DLC just to try it out. But, anyways, let's check our GPS here. Uh, yeah, we got about a little over an hour left to go. Making some pretty decent time here. Um, I could not fix my track IR for some reason. I was trying to 
work it. It just wasn't working for me, so I'm going to have to go with my do the good old fashioned mouse and keys. But we'll be able to do it without a problem. Here, and we just have, oh, that's right, I can't see anymore. Uh, 60, it looks like 6,800 miles we put on our truck so far since we've owned it. And if we take a look here, uh, we have about 300 gallons of fuel left. I think it's a 500 gallon tank. Um, it does fairly decent on gas, you know. You know, four, you know, four or five miles per gallon, something, you know, usual. Uh, oil temperature is good. Sit there. Sorry, that was that one. The one link of the one thing that's the last one it sits there and plays the song, and I don't want to get a copyright strike on me, so I gotta be mindful of that here. But we are making pretty good time. I think I'm going to put a time lapse in from here till we get to our final exit of Oakland. So I will see you when we get to Oakland. Alright, so we are making it into Oakland here. Doing our final thing here. We're going to slow ourselves down here. We'll use a little jig break here. We did make a left-hand turn right up in here, and I screwed that one up big time. Please stick the gear. Please stick the gear. One thing I hate about automatic transmissions is it automatically pops you to a new gear. So that's going to be the nice one I have the... Uh, whatchamacallit, when I have the shifter, so I'll be able to control my own gear here. But we do still take we have a good to go streak here, so we're gonna make our left hand turn here. Hard left, make sure we clear it. There we go, and we'll check our outer window. And we should be able to there we go. Look at that thing clear the turn there with beauty. One thing that would be nice is that since now that they activated or they gave you like the multiple pivoting points, is having the ability to I know some very large trailers you can sit there they have a design where you can they automatically can have a power drive to it so you can sort of like pivot those turns it would be nice if maybe they added one of those into the game for a heavy cargo DLC here we're gonna be mindful there gotta keep it in our lane it looks like we are making a right and it looks like they make some Oakland quite small here um I'm gonna have to take a look and see some pictures and see if it's as well as they have it scaled in here. If anybody does know and they are from Oakland, be sure to let me know what it is. And see, got some nice drivers. That's one thing I noticed that the AI change is that they're more alert and more, you know, stabilized to stay further back. And it looks like they can't be going straight, so we'll be able to make this hard left-hand turn here. See if we can clear it without wrecking and we are going to make that turn there but we're going to clear from over there beautiful and we are going to be up here on the it looks like the right somewhere we'll find out as soon as we get a little closer here but i can't wait i know the open beta came out i might have to see about getting trying that one out for you guys here for the double and triple trailers do we put our blinker on make a right it looks like and we'll just roll that just slightly we gotta be mindful we can clear this corner but we do have the ability to go all the way down into here and be oh my god that came out perfect there's so we're gonna stop off here put our hazards on here and we'll see where they want us to park this truck. Take a quick look here. Yeah, um, too bad we physically can't choose where it would be at, but it looks like it's just simple up and in. Should be rather easy to do. Wrong button there. And we'll make our way up here. We'll hold this lane right here. Keep it as tight as we can. You'll take it nice and steady. Make our way around there. Beautiful. Straighten it out. Keep it nice and straight. Make sure we're not scraping the wood there. And we should be able to clear that turn with ease. Being mindful of that. Yeah, we're gonna... We'll be able to take that easily there. And we'll 
start bringing our turn up over to here. Be sure to keep an eye out on my channel because I am going to be doing a bail challenge there. Um, I do have it already set up. I just have to film it. But everything is already been set up for it and ready to film. Moving our way into here and it should just be a pretty straight pull in now. Be mindful of the left side there. Beautiful. And yes, we are going to get this in there on the first try. My guess is that if it were to be something, it might, if it were to be a difficult one, it might be like backing it into a spot over there. But this seems to be pretty good. I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys all for so much for watching, and I'll see you on our next episode.